welcome to Dear Alice, a lifestyle approach to interior design. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Dear Alice. We're so happy you're here today. We're excited to be here, too. We have a fun episode for you. We're doing Keep or Toss today. Which I'm is so like excited. finding something and saying if we would keep it or toss it. Yeah. And it so might be polarizing. We might feel opposite, which should be a lot of fun. I know. We might we feel might the same. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We might fight. Make, make, Corey's to gonna break up this. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm this a referee. Chick fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I can't wait. But first I wanted to get into um, so right now we're recording and it's summertime, but when this airs, it'll be like September or something. Yeah. So just know that we're in the middle of the heat in the dead of summer recording sometime in July. And I'm just curious this summer, have you guys developed any like bad habits or guilty pleasures, things that you're eating? Cause you know, it's summertime. So the wheels kind of mm -hmm. come off on how you normally live. Your bedtime kind of goes out the window. You start eating stuff that like shave ice or like, mm -hmm. you know, ice cream. stuff Popsicles. at the stuff at the <laughs> pools offering, which is never, it's like nachos and like bad nachos. soda pop. And yeah. Have, yeah. Have, you guys, have, you, have you had any really bad habits pop up mm -hmm. this summer? That's exciting. Do you have bad any habits? Um, let's see. We have been like indulging in a lot of popsicles. <laughs> yeah. I have three boys. So we just like stock. Our Do you find creatures. yourself eating popsicles also? For sure. What kind of popsicles? Dude, like the Mexican kind, like the paletas. Oh, like the okay. Oh, the fruit ones. Yeah, yeah, that's delicious. So you can get yeah. them at Costco or they have the Melona ones, like melon ones. Ooh, it's like yeah. honeydew. But anyway, they're delicious. Is that they at Costco too? Yeah. Everything's oh. at Costco. That's just a Do regular. you love Costco? For the children. Would you say Costco's your guilty pleasure? Yes. No, no. No, <laughs> no. Costco's. No. Just a regular pleasure. It's just, it's just like a must. A a must <laughs> yeah, it, like it's just they demand your money like once a week. How many boxes are you getting? Like one a week? Tom gets them. Oh, so you don't know? No. Do they just show up? Yeah, they show up and then they're stocked in our fridge and then like the children yeah. around the. Do you have a favorite flavor? Ooh, uh, the, you give the, the children the lime ones, ones and you eat they, the delicious they, pink they get ones. The otter pops. <laughs> <laughs> um, the honeydew one. Ooh, yeah, I love it. It's so good. Hey. Also. I've gotten really good at this tres leches um, <gasps> recipe. Oh, yeah. It's so good. It was just Tom's birthday. And I asked Nolan, I'm like, what kind of cake should we make, Dad? Because, like, Tom's not a sweet. He's a taco guy. He's not uh -huh. a sweet tooth. Savory. And, and Nolan's like, the tres leches. Uh -huh. And it's from the, the New, uh, New York Times. If you look, I should post it. It is so good. And I feel like I'm getting really good at it. How do you make it? What's in it? Oh, well. I know it's like the, the three base. milks. <laughs> the, yeah. First you make the, and like, there's a lot of like really easy ways to do this with like a cake mix. And I, we've had those, whatever, but like, this is like fantastic. Like the absorbency of the cake is so good when you put the milks in, but you separate the yolks from, it's like more complicated than I've ever done for uh -huh. this kind of cake. You separate the whites from the yolks. You make this cake, you like whip it. it it's anyway, it makes it like the most like perfect amount of like pound cake so that mm. it saturates this milk mixture and you have, and I like love it so much. You know, I love, I could pour like, yeah. you know, sweet condensed milk on anything. You just pour it right into my mouth. Suzanne you loves, a, it is I amazing. love Suzanne a loves mess, a, a jiggly. She loves a flan. Don't she loves a chocolate pudding. She wants a saucy, I want soupy. Dance cookies. Yeah. Like bread pudding. Flan. Yeah. Yeah. It's like my yeah, wedding. She yeah. just like, wants Uga Nuga and gravy on Ooh. her desserts. Like, you know what I mean? Don't give me a dry sandwich and don't give me a fluffy cake. Wait, what are you going to put on your sandwich to not make it dry? Lots of mayonnaise or? Mayonnaise? Mike's way? Yeah, you, like can't, tomatoes. you can't have like, a dry sandwich. I That's hate it. Horrible. Well, no, I, I know. I just was oh, wondering, okay. like, how is she going to sauce up her sandwich? So now I've got it. Yeah. Yeah, like Village Oops. Baker, I hope they're listening because every <laughs> sandwich I've had from them is dry. <laughs> It yeah. is, oh, it's the worst. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. yeah. But then you just like get all the strawberries, like you, oh, the whip topping, like you put that over it and the sauce time. Yeah. It's like Madagascar, like this vanilla that like, Yum. it's so good. And I put like orange juice and orange zest in it. So it had like this citrus bit wow. and then we put the strawberries on it. Did you Tom guys, love it or just you? No, he loved it. He's like, yeah, best batch. Well, I asked him, I'm like, was that my best batch? Kind of those <laughs> He's not going to say no. Right? Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, isn't this so good, right? <laughs> I'm like, damn it, I can't even like a post. <laughs> That's amazing. But, yeah. Do you guys like, remember, did you 
ever watch Nigella Lawson, the cooking show? <laughs> so gooey. Beautiful British it. woman. And, uh-huh. and the show's over. She teaches you how to cook something in the middle of the day. And then the show ends and all the credits roll. And then you see all of a sudden a fridge door open. It's at night. <laughs> and her get the thing out that she made and just like sit and eat it with a spoon and then put it back. And the fridge door closes. And then the yeah. show's really over. That's okay. amazing. That's Suzanne I with the Trace sure. Leches. Sure. You know it. And then the last guilty pleasure too. Gosh, I have had more. I had more than I thought I would. Yeah. Anyway, when the kids are all like in bed, if like, anyway, Tom sleep, I will go up and like, I'll have a grater's ice cream or just like a couple bites of grater's ice cream. And then I'll go to bed. Yeah. I'll rush my teeth. Well, fl- are you, are you the raspberry chocolate? Yeah. Black raspberry. I love like dark chocolate and raspberry. Yeah. Like that combination. That good. Just like it's rocks so my world. Good. It's yeah. so good. If you guys haven't had graters, I'm sure most of you had, um, it's made in small batches in copper pots in Ohio. For some reason in Utah, we get it at our Smith's grocery store in the tiny little quartz pints, the tiny, you know, the tiny ice creams. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's spelled G R A E T E R S. E R S. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, some girlfriends turned us on to it. And Amazing. It's like, the problem with those, it's is like, like dark brown, the body of it's dark brown. So look for these little pints and look for graders and it's a plus plus ice cream. The problem with the pint is that you're just like, Oh, I want like four, four bites. And before you know it, there's like four bites left. And you're like, gosh, damn it. I can't like push this back in. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. Yeah. Nobody knows. It's been nice. exactly. <laughs> totally. Totally. You guys, I have forever thought of ice cream as a topping. Like I don't eat ice cream on its own. Really? I'm not going to order a double twist from McDonald's. I'm not going to get a milkshake. It's all a mode for you or nothing. I'm just like, it's all a mode or nothing. And I've grown up with the kazuki or the brownie or the birthday cake with ice cream or pie a la mode. That is good. That's the only way we've ever had it served. My mom's just never given us a bowl of ice cream as dessert. So meet me at midnight. <laughs> it's Yeah. So it's always been so confusing to me for some reason this summer. All of a sudden I'm like turned on to ice cream. Really? I don't know what it is. Welcome. Yeah. Yes, You've totally. Arrived. I know. Well, so there's What's this, brand? this is like, this is like the guiltiest of guilty pleasures. So not only is it not good for me, but it's like usually 11 o'clock at night and we're like, let's just get on DoorDash. They have Dash Mart. Have you guys mm. seen this? Yeah. It's oh. so great. It's like a little grocery store and they just have treats. <laughs> it's like a Seven Eleven. I swear in my brain, I want to go to dash Mart in real life and see it, but they just have all of these fun ice cream, like Jenny's ice cream. Yeah. We were just nice. in Dallas. They have Jenny's ice cream Get there. Down. They have all of these different types of like gelatos oh, and ice cream. I just recently got the gelato from gelato boy and it's only like 300 calories a serving. So you don't feel so bad about it, but it's not as good as Jenny's or graders. And if you're going to do it at 11, just like, just do, do it. it. Mm-hmm. And it takes like 20 minutes and it's at your doorstep in the middle of the night and it's ice cream in a brown bag. Like you just were served up alcohol or something. You almost mm-hmm. feel like it's illegal. Like I a little bit like you're like, tell you it's like a thrill. <laughs> it's the guiltiest of guilty pleasures is having somebody bring it to your house, put it on your porch in a brown bag and it's and the middle run. of the night and, <laughs> and they run and then you get a little note on your phone that it's here and you're like, Oh, There's something's at your doorstep. Your little fingers it. are drumming <laughs> on each other and you're like, I'm going to go get a spoon and make myself really happy. So I've been loving the dash mart drops really making uh-huh. me happy. Also, I don't know what it is. I'm loving a chocolate covered pretzel. Really strange, yeah. but you it satisfies two bags in Dallas trying to find the perfect chocolate covered. Pretzel I really, I know I only like dark chocolate. I, I mean, I love dark chocolate milk chocolates, like whatever. It's a little too sweet, but I'll eat it, you know? So the I'll first, the first ones we found were milk chocolate, but then I discovered the dark. So I didn't end up eating the milk ones, but I do like, what's the flattened pretzel brand. They're like the, the pretzel thins pretzel thins makes They're a dark delicious. chocolate covered. So good. I found them on Amazon and it's like so yummy. I don't know what about crunch is just so satisfying and also so craveable, the but the salt too. and the dark it's amazing. Okay. I'm loving that so much. We should, we should just like just podcast about this. What I, know. I know it's so yeah. good. What's your guilty Corey. pleasure? Uh, so Mari has been making, this has been like two months we've been doing this. So she would just like make some cookies and we one that like had some cookies. And then like the next week it's like, she'd do them. And she's like, yeah, then she'd like quadruple the batch. And then she was freezing them. And then we were yeah. making, when the kids would go to sleep, we make like a few every night, but they're That's burnt. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. And then like now, now that we're doing that, we're like, okay, let's go on a walk first or like right after. You know <laughs> yeah, <I> mean? totally. <laughs> so so lower our glucose spike. Um, but they're brown butter chocolate chip cookies Ooh. and they are 
so good. You need to share the recipe with us. Yeah. I, mean, I want I one of those right now. There's. I love brown butter anything. We I have a progressive guilty pleasure starting at 10 p.m. Like, come to my house <laughs> yeah. for dress we go. We're going to go on a walk. We should <laughs> walk. go to your get <laughs> yeah. our door dash at the end, like yes. dash mark, and then brown butter. <laughs> yeah. And then Jenny's pretzels at the end. Yes. Oh, oh Jenny's. Totally. Yes. That'll be so fun. So yeah. fun. And then we can yeah. watch the new Kardashians. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. That's I, when my also, guilty pleasure. Also, Kardashians is also my guilty pleasure. I got Jenny. Bennett onto it. Mom, I'm so sorry if you're listening, but I was like, Jane, you really got to see Kardashians on Hulu. Hulu. It's a totally different game and it's really good. Even Adam was like, this is really good. Mm. I was like, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. So I showed Jane and she was like, hey, so do you want to watch um, Kardashians tonight? And I was like, oh, that's bonding. Oh, Jane Bennett. Jane. Look at you liking Kardashians. Mm. That's anyway, crazy. I know I just got 10, uh, 10 hundred steps dumber to everybody that just listening, but I don't know what it is about it. It makes you feel excre- extremely normal to watch yeah. it. Right. Oh yeah. And it's, yeah. Like, that's yeah. I mean, yeah. just their feud about I the whole like Dolce. It. I I tried, it's amazing. Tried, yeah, tried, it really is. On Hulu? Really? Yeah. I know. Sue and I have exact opposite tastes in shows on TV. Isn't that beautiful? I know. I like to beautiful. turn my brain off. Just at night, yeah. I just want to watch something that I don't have to think about. Yeah. And I can just like stare at the TV and just. Because mm-hmm. I have like a, a block of like four hours after work where I'm just like with kids and stuff. And then I'm just like. She just has to watch an animated mm. show or she wants to watch something really dark and twisty and yeah. salty. Yeah, I've been watching Bear on Hulu. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You guys watch it. It's salty. It's gritty. Writing's awesome. The music's awesome. It's about, I mean, and it's, it's like, about food. Yeah. Which I love. Like, I love food shows. Bear, B E A R. Like, B-E-A-R. yeah. Like yeah. a, like a bear in the woods. Like a bear in the woods. If you watch it, you'll get, you'll okay. understand the reference. But it's like starts out on, anyway, just watch it. It sounds much more edifying than Kardashian. So it's actually, I pretend it's I didn't say not, Kardashian. It's, no, it's not, whatever. <laughs> no, whatever. No, it's, uh, it's a salty language, but. I'm going to think of something really smart yeah. that I'm watching next time for yes, the. You're smart. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's get into it. Um, Kardashians are smart. Shoot. Look at them. Season I know. Look at them go. <laughs> like, okay. I mean, go Chris Kardashian. We're watching it, you know, so yeah. they're doing something. Yeah. I'm outnumbered. So yes. We're keep her toss. Okay. okay. Uh, the first one is Kardashians. No, I'm kidding. This <laughs> <laughs> is like toss. toss it. I'll keep it. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, for real. Uh, antique chest from grandma. Who who is it that we that put this on the list? I put it. Oh, okay. Did I put most no, of them? Okay. Yeah, no, you guys, you I'm picturing yeah. my grandma's antique chest just for one moment. She had something in her entry that was like a wash basin. Mm-hmm. So it's like a tiger oak, mm. very short. It's probably like because she's so tiny. It's probably uh, it's I don't even think it's thirty inches. It's gonna be twenty six inches or twenty eight inches off the ground. It's like got drawers in it. It's got a mirror that's attached to it. Yeah. Ooh, and I feel like mirror. it's slightly tilts back or forth maybe. And mm. the mirror is so old. Mm. And then you would put a basin of water that you would go get and put on top of it. And it was kind of seashell-ish. Like, do you know what I mean? Ruffly around mm. the edges. And that's where they would like wash and. Yeah. Like wash their face and stuff. Yeah, maybe, I guess. But uh, she doesn't have the basin part anymore. She just has this piece. And I feel like that was always in her entry. And so. I feel like any normal grandma's chest that you guys are picturing in your mind, I would say yes to, but my grandma's, (laughs) I'm too tall to have a piece like that in my current entry. Well, actually it could go anywhere, but it's just, it's, I just think it's so, you know how people were just so petite back then. Mm -hmm. Grandma was like five foot one or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was perfect for her, but I just think it wouldn't scale well, unless I could take the mirror off and use it as a side table. I think the tiger oak is really beautiful. So in that yeah. case, if I could alter it, I would keep it. Yeah. I think in any situation and it, yeah, it depends on your grandma. Yeah. Like, or what entry chest were you picturing when you chose this as a keeper? No, toss? Just, just as an antique chest. Yeah. It's like any antique chest, like in my mind, I'm thinking something more beautiful, but I, yeah. yeah. Again, along the lines of like a tiger oak piece that you would like juxtapose Definitely with a piece keep. of modern art or something yeah. and you would keep it. So yeah. And you would hope yeah. for it when you went to Anthony's antiques. Yeah, exactly. definitely. Exactly. So I would figure out a way to keep it probably. Yep. Yeah. But love the it. vanity mirror, if it's too small, toss it. Yeah. Permission granted. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Okay. As long as you like the finish, if it, anything like rooted in red to me is a stain. It's like, no, I don't even, I don't care. Mm-hmm. I can't even keep it. Handyman Corey that can restain it and paint it. Yeah. Wouldn't. I mean, most of those, but like it had just, most antiques have like intricate detail and just getting all the stain off that just, yeah, too much. Yeah. Yeah. 
The next I'm, one kind of in the same vein, like a China hutch. This is back. Like people just don't have China hutches anymore. No, yeah. they I don't. I toss it. I don't think I'd keep a China hutch. I don't have a place in my life for a China hutch. Nor do I. Uh, or I would have to get rid of something. I had to have an old China hutch there. Mm -hmm. Like I just don't have a vacant wall near the kitchen where I could put China. I also don't have China. Yeah. So I'm like, what would I put on? Yadros. <laughs> Yadros. Yeah. My mom's Kachina dolls that she used to collect in the eighties. Did your parents decorate in Southwest decor perhaps? My mom would always do. I, I've hated it my entire life, but like one room would be a theme. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't listen to this podcast, so by it's okay. By chance was one of them Southwestern. <laughs> no, it was Did like, she have a dream catcher? And a <gasps> like one of them would be like the forest. So there'd be like bears stuff. And yeah, I don't know. It was. The border would match. Keep, yeah. Keep, there would be keep talking. Border. Keep talking, Corey. I'm loving this. I'm just it kidding. was literally, it was embarrassing when I'd have friends over. I'd be like, ah, this is the bear room, I guess. I don't know. So yeah. <laughs> <Rar>. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the Levi's room. <laughs> and everything's made out of 501s. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she would awesome. do. Yeah. Remember how people had throw pillows that were made out of old Levi's? Yes. And they'd have like the pocket. My mom did, for sure. <laughs> did she have a watermelon room or watermelon kitchen? No, we had, my aunt did. Yeah. We had like, yes, we had watermelon tall painted things. Mm -hmm. And we go to like craft fairs and whatnot. The quilted beer. Uh-huh. And it was like <laughs> the shape of a slice of watermelon with one, one bite yeah. scooped out. It was so delicious. And the little seeds were tall painted yeah. on with the end of a pin. You bet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whoever, whoever designed that should win an Kathy award. Kathy Miller you know? used oh, to yeah. be the tall painter in town <laughs> and they'd have craft fairs and we would go and I'd always buy something Kathy Miller. <laughs> My mom's probably dying right now. You're welcome, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember puff paint? Yes. Puff painting your sweatshirts? Amazing. And appliques? Yes. I think you were looking at my first grade picture the other day and you're yes. like, Preta, what is on your shirt? <laughs> 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 it was denim bows that had coral puff paint around them. Amazing. I just yes. Yeah, I was just thinking of watermelon. These were so crafty. <laughs> yeah. It was, the 80s were fun because it was like amateur hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We just, yeah. We, we just, just made it ourselves. That was the start of DIY. We crafted it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Totally. It would sell like t-shirt kits where you just like paint your own shirt instead of just buying Buying a shirt that was already I don't thanks know. fast fashion. Yeah. <laughs> you really curve bumped that one. Appreciate it. Uh, that's oh funny. man, that's funny. Uh, so the next one is that this. all came from a China. <laughs> yeah, for you're, real. You're welcome, you China you Hutch. Toss? I'm tossing it. Uh, I'm, I'm tossing the China I'm Hutch too. The China Hutch. Yes. Next. Um, so this is the detail, but reading. So I'm so tossing it. I can't. <laughs> I can't with it anymore. Here's why. It's currently in fashion. I feel like as people in product development, we can't do it because our stuff's going to take a year to develop. Yeah. And by the time it gets here, we're going to be like, what were we thinking? Right. Yeah. Yep. I also feel like yep. in homes, because most of the homes we're building are taking, you know, like three years to be able to finish or two years. And in two years, we're going to be like, oh, that was the reading period. Yeah. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like because we have to forecast what's happening it's going to get stuck in a moment and we're going to regret it. I do think it's currently very beautiful. So I will say that I just can't do it for anybody in the future. Yeah. How do you feel about reading? And Corey, you also, cause you do woodwork. Mm -hmm. I think done in the right scale and done minimally, not mm -hmm. on everything. I think it's still good. It's kind of like, it's like dental molding for me. Yes. Which I think is a classical bit yep. and you just have to know when, you know, when to hold them, yep. <laughs> one hold, Hold them. Is that right? Yeah. Anyway, you just have to know like when to do it. So it like makes complete sense now and forever. Yeah. You know? Yep. You but know what's funny Other though? than that, just don't do it on everything. Yes. Like as a minimal detail on the banding on some once. finish work. Beautiful. Around one room. Agreed. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right? Yep. So I'm going to keep it in, in moderation. I love what you're saying. I also, I know this is going to sound crazy to everybody, but I feel very different about it than I do about the fluting on the Luca family. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I, yeah. I live it's with different, right? It's yeah. different than flute. Then fluting is different than reading yeah. somehow. No, reading is comes convex. proud. Convex. Yes. And fluting. It's like you're scraping Concave. a detail yeah. like in a clay pot. That right? fluted yeah. ceiling in that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There was this like image that like I just oh. reshared from another and it had like this massive scale, this like giant flute as a ceiling treatment that just like rocked my world and immediately reposted it. So, yeah. Gerald. Yeah. And so it's just so like pretty. the shadows that it creates. It's Always just fantastic. Beautiful. Yeah. Fantastic. And that's usually what you see like in columns. Mm -hmm. You see fluting. I always you love see. a barrel ceiling too. Yeah. Whenever I see one, I love it. Right. Yeah. So, so red. 
especially in re- repeat. So good. Yeah. And the cool thing about Luca is that it's just like hand planed. Yeah. And so like it's a hand planed flute. And so again, I just think repetition is just so beautiful, mm-hmm. but just like be careful what you do it on and how much you do of it. Yeah. In moderation. Because I don't think I would have- Beautiful in moderation. I wouldn't have the Luca cocktail table, side table and column in the same room. No, he wouldn't. I would just have one. So yeah. fluting, it's true. reading, moderation, keep. I agree. Yeah. The next is travertine. Travertine is popping up big right now. I put this one in for you, Jess. RH is going hard with it. Um, it's a different travertine. I feel like if it you is lit, different, if you design for as it's long not as we have tumbled, it's not pitted, and the holes much. aren't filled with grout. It's more, I think, cleaner, modern, you wouldn't monolithic. Lose a quarter in, a, in it, you wouldn't lose any money. <laughs> <laughs> it's for Suzanne's loose change. <laughs> we we can't not. get the damn thing out. <laughs> no, <that's funny>. Suzanne <laughs> will not lose any money on that. Nope. Um, I, you know, it's funny. It's like if you lived with it once before, you don't want it again. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I just remember my mom being that way. Like, oh, I can't wear plaid. I wore it in high school school. I'm like, whatever. And I'm leaving the house in plaid (laughs) pants and my plaid guest t-shirt. And you know what I mean? Like it was such a thing. And you know, we've of course see it again. So, um, I think it's beautiful in spaces. I do think like modern beach house, you know, with travertine, just things that feel really earthy and water could roll over them is so pretty. Um, for myself, I'm not going to buy any travertine, but that doesn't mean I don't think it's beautiful for a client or another project. Um, if it was in somebody's home right now, would I have them rip it out? I think it would depend on the style that we're going to move into. And the tone, I feel like some turn the tone. Went yellow. Yes. And so if you're just like a bleached out organic bone white, keep that travertine. Yeah. And also, make sure it's not pitted. Yes. Pitted also the grout lines when it wasn't done the first time. We're like two inches wide. When it was like 2001, <laughs> we're two inches wide. And then they, with filled, quarter stuck in it. <laughs> then they filled the holes with that same dark grout. Yep. So it's, it's hard. I think right now it would not have holes and it would be like kiss, kissed together. And you have beautiful windows. Really tight. Sun, sunbathing. And it would feel like um, slabs for ground. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, so, it's like I'm in Mykonos. You yes. Know? So there you go. There it is. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep that kind. You're going to keep that travertine. I agree. Yep. I'll keep yep. it too. Okay. All right. Grass cloth or wallpaper? And, or yeah, grass cloth slash wallpaper. Oh. That's a keep. Keep. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yep. I still love it. I do too. Yeah. I think the texture of it's so good. And you know what else I love about grass cloth? I love it when you do see the seams. You see the width of like, because they're usually only like 27 wide. Mm-hmm. And some people are like, oh, I hate the seams. Yeah. I'm like, then it's not grass cloth. Then you're like getting some like fake vinyl fake material. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to see the seams. I want to see like narrow rolls of grass cloth. Oh, oh so I pretty. It. I love that too. Yeah. We have had clients though that I put that on there just because we've had clients that are like, Oh, I've lived kind of the plaid thing, right? I've mm-hmm. lived with that. My grandma had that. I don't want to live with it. Yes. It feels very seventies or early eighties to them or yeah. Which is super in vogue now. So there's no wonder why we love it still, but yeah. we've always loved it. Totally. We've used it since the beginning. I know. I just love it. You know what I really love? Like the biggest pervert in me loves Philip Jeffries mm. wall, yep. you know, grass yep. cloth. Just so pretty. There's still one that haunts me that I didn't do in my living room like eight years ago. The horse one? Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, the horse hair. There wasn't imprinted horses on it, but it was horse hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Texture. <Damn. laughs> so pretty. Also, there was one that was like a denim color. Oh it was really gosh. beautiful. So and good. I can't remember how many tens of thousands it would have been to wrap the room in it. But I was like, I'm poor now that my house is built. <laughs> But in my dreams, but that, that room price per use that uh, really would have paid you by yeah. now. <laughs> I would have still haunts me. So I should have just like not wallpapered it for a year and then done it. You know yeah, what I mean? For sure. Still mad at myself, <laughs> but I still love grass cloth. And that's the answer to my question. Next house. Next house. Yeah. Love it. Overalls. Keep. Keep. Yeah. Keep. You know okay. what? I have been on the hunt. I was such the overall queen in college. Ooh, like yeah. I had three pair. Love them. So fun to wear. And I've been on the hunt. I've, tr- I've bought so many pair and returned so many pair. Okay. I cannot get it right. I just, I just can't get it right. So mm-hmm. I'm going to keep trying though. Man. Yeah. No, I worked at the gap in high school after my stint <sighs> at Denimville 
And yep, I had the short alls, like capri alls, overalls. Like it just like takes you back. Oh, it's too bad you don't still have them. Right? Yeah. It'd be so fun in those short alls. Yeah. <laughs> the short all. Oh my gosh. You I know never you had them. I was never that? had the short all. You didn't? I only had the had long the ones. That's yeah. my that's my favorite outfit that we have for Demi right now. It's just like a white onesie with these like <gasps> short all. Like it's they're seriously so cute. Yeah, Every that Saturday I five. when I dress her, I put them put her in them that's so yeah. cute yeah Louis too we have like these like light from Zara yeah kids in overalls mm. so, so cute. cute keep it and then she has little it. jelly shoes it's so I'm just cute. like man you're let's like get them in for a dream do a photo shoot with, I know. with Louis and yeah I love it yeah okay the next thing this is I feel like this is very prominent right now but checkerboard mm-hmm. Yeah, keep. Keep it. We've yeah. you know what though, we've loved checkerboard, I think, as designers, um, the whole it's time. Classical. Yeah. And where we take a spin on a checkerboard, we're always trying to do an entry with using multiple marbles. And I just think it comes up where you can gang checkerboards together to make a huge, huge monolithic version of the checkerboard and multiple scales, different ways. I think it's amazing always. I, yep. I know the way it's interpreted interpreted right now is like two colors on a rug or do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, fashion, you're seeing, you have Vans. Is it called Vans? I even yeah. a checkerboard on my earrings. Oh yeah, you do a bone. Sue has these really pretty bone or horn Born earrings that are checkerboard. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, the Vans. Sue the wears black a black and white, white check like van. That's iconic Vans though. Yeah. The black yeah. checkerboard, mm. you know. Yeah. So. And you had those before the checkerboard was like sure. going crazy. So yeah. I love them. Yeah. My kids have always had Vans. Yeah. I've always had those. So yeah. Yeah. I love them. Yep. Yes to checkerboard. Yes to checkerboard. Keep. But I will say I do have um, people, family or whatever that I follow on and I see in their houses, they have everything as the checkerboard. They have a throw that's checkerboard. They have a pillow that's checkerboard. I'm like, okay, let's pull that off and like, let's go back to like what is classic and just do like just one. one. Mm-hmm. Just one. Yeah. Everything yeah. in moderation. Everything in moderation. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Keep. Fiddle leaf figs. Mm. Sue and I were just in Dallas shooting a project and I'm she has it. the most sensational fig with three really strong arms, irregular, massive leaves. And the ceiling height was felt like 12 feet. Yeah, I think we're 11. Oh gosh. When you see a really good one, not the Ikea starter one, like mm. one that's lived for years and doing its thing in the right light is really so good. Light, it starts to bend and then you start to look like an L decor. Like yeah. it's so good. The way that most of us are seeing it, I'm like, no. And it's the and artificial one that you get at Target and do not buy that guy. Yeah. Toss it. And most people shouldn't do it because you've it's gotta be the right light, the right amount of food and water and everything else. But letting it do its thing for a number of years is just really in the right spot. It feels very pure. My sisters, mm-hmm. Katie's. So beautiful. Yeah. It just kind of crawls Great over. examples of fiddle leaves in your life. Yeah. But yeah. they have to be kind of exotic and crawling and taking over a little bit. Yeah. You know, I think to be like really exciting. Otherwise it was such a yeah. trend and everybody had it. And you saw mm-hmm. in every domino, you saw it in everything. You're like, oh, give me an olive tree. <laughs> like yeah. I can't take it anymore. Totally. But I do. When you look at the fiddle, like you look at the actual leaf shape, it's phenomenal. Yeah. It's really beautiful. It and is. So just like go big or go I home. Mean, y'all. I mean, it's, I this is so polarizing. Cause I just barely took out of my office. I had an NDI, like a big glass, you know, fiddle. container with a couple of fiddle arms and I hate it. Hate it. It's fake fiddle. Yeah. And I just brought it down to my basement a few months ago. I was like, I can't look at this one more You're day it. <laughs> and it's tall and it's big, but it's fake and it's not doing its thing and it's not reaching the ceiling and curling onto something. And do you know what I mean? So totally. most of the time, 90% of the time I see them, I hate it and I want to toss it. But the ones when you see them are good, you still have faith in the fiddle leaf fig. <laughs> you still have faith in the fiddle. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, everybody should get to see this. It's an extraordinary it's example. Phenomenal. Yeah. It's polarizing. Okay. And often a lot of times if you're just like, what plant should I get? Fiddly figs like will live in a lot of lights. That's when we bought the one in Dallas. It was because of the light Mm -hmm. and the window. They're like, that's the only thing that will live there. We're like, well, we're just going to have to buy a phenomenal one. That being said though, that room isn't super bright, even though the window's big. And I think that's why it lives. It doesn't like scorch it, Mm -hmm. but it just gets to live near the natural light. And there's plenty of shade. Yeah, have lived right there. So yeah. Anyway. So if you have that kind of light, that's not too bright, but lit, but you've well lit, um, natural light space. Yeah. It's not hot. I don't know what direction that would be facing. You should totally get a fiddle. Yeah. North facing window. Yeah. Love it. And always go taller than you think. 
you can always prune it. Always. But just always go taller. Get the biggest one you can. Yeah. Okay. Keep. Murals. Keep. Murals are so hot right now. That's the best wallpaper I feel like on the market right now Ooh. is murals. They're just so great. Than life. Yeah. Yeah. Keep them. Yep. Tufted headboards. Ugh, toss. Toss it. Tufted Ooh, anything. It. Tufted benches. We'll say like, like the a, foot of the tufted headboard. Oh my gosh. It's, it's like acne. Yeah, it's yeah. so much, you know? Ooh. It's just too much. Yep. Especially yeah. with the button. Oh, the button diamond tuft. Uh. Wow. And they went really tall with them. Kill me. And I will say like at the beginning of Val saying, we did a lot of tufted headboards and they yeah, were we beautiful. Did. That was the thing. But that was the thing anyway. And we're just, and it was in it. linen. We're done. It was oh, in like a, thanks Vanguard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. Is it a natural linen? Uh-huh. It was just diamond tufted and folds and buttons everywhere. And or just texture. So much it's going like on. Field. So fancy and rich. Yep. Yeah. The Chesterfield <laughs> sofa. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Okay. No tufting awesome. done. Tossing it. Floating TVs. No, this makes me angry. <laughs> Do you know what I hate as bad as a floating TV? A TV on an arm. Because then it never a sits flush against the arm. wall. And so it's just kind of always like slightly lifted off oh, on one like side. Some guy, like, you can like uh, move it. Yeah. <laughs> Kill me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and it's yeah. never it feel safe. It's never put back like right. It's just going to like fall into your head or yeah, something. Yeah. And it's just floating yeah. there. Nothing's grounding it. Or this is even worse. <laughs> See the cord, the TV on the arm in a corner oh, because they couldn't oh, yeah. decide which way the TV <laughs> should face. So they mounted it on a darn 90 degree angle. You, want, you can see it in this room or in this, you know what I mean? From yeah. Or you can pull it away from the wall and it from can the just kitchen, the entry and the family room. It can just frequently <laughs> float from this big, long mechanical arm. Yeah. I hate that. Uh, Toss, it. Toss yeah. it. Toss it. Toss it. Yep. Uh, wood or stain grade base in case. Oh gosh. Right. Paint. Oh, well, wood or stain grade? Toss it. Yeah, toss it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're saying both are wood and they're stain grade. Yes. I'm a toss. We did a remodel and they would not let us change the molding. (laughs) And I have to say the house is so beautiful, but these massive windows are still framed in naughty alder because the husband didn't want to change it because it's real wood. Husbands always get really so crazy about solid wood. No, that's the, and they call it solid wood. Yeah. <laughs> like well, it's solid hardwood, babe. <laughs> yeah. And Versus it's the shallow. And it's like stained <laughs> hollow, coffee hollow color yeah. with knots in it. Uh, and the whole house underwent the most massive, beautiful remodel. And what stayed? Just dark brown surrounding all the windows. Like, the worst. like oh, bad man. 80s eyeliner going around the entire eye, just closing it in. Mm. Just so bad. And you're like, What eye? What huh? remodel? What happened? <laughs> you guys improve stuff? No, it's like nothing happened. No. Because these massive two story windows are just take still over. surrounded. It's like the banana stingray. and the smoothie. It just takes over. Oh, mm. gosh. It's like a banana with brown dots all over <sighs> it. You can't <laughs> even see it. It's just, <laughs> oh, just so much brown. Toss it. I hate a sting grade base in case right now i'll like it in a month but right now i hate it <laughs> skinny jeans ah uh, toss. toss yeah so i was trying bad. on jeans the other day to see like just going through my clothes and i had some and i'm like oh put them on to us see what these things do and it was just like it was a chore to get those things around my ankle and just like <laughs> like suck them on up you know like yeah it was really uncomfortable do you know like, what's wow. good about this though yeah maybe just maybe it will catch on enough that women will stop wearing leggings as pants because leggings kind of did the job of the skinny jean, right? It's the same silhouette. It's like, I can see your, yeah. the shape of your leg from hip to toe, right? Yep. So if that's out for jeans, don't you think maybe the leggings, yeah, leggings. can I still have like, bow out? I still, I still am getting some lemons. Are, are you wearing them leggings. in public? No. That's no, what just, I mean. Just like, around the house. Yeah. Got to do deep lunges, you know? Deep lunges. Yeah, <laughs> get the kids, do squats. I yeah. It. I love yeah. it. But yeah, agreed. I think that might hopefully influence... That. Yeah, and to you know get, what? To get a yogurt okay. <laughs> <laughs> or something. I don't know. I'm going to just admit something here. I was like, I'm getting rid of all these skinny, skinny jeans. I'm just going to cut them off and make them into shorts. Oh, hey. And just like wear a weed in them, whatever. Mm. It's not the same. It's just like mm. denim biker shorts. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. That's amazing. It's not good. Mine are just, just now all work pants. <laughs> like if I'm doing manual labor or something, I'm just, okay, I'm going to wear, I'm going to do those. I'm going to do this in skinny yeah, jeans. Yeah, exactly. I don't even <laughs> care. <laughs> Not funny. I always keep these things for that task, but then you never wear that thing for that task, but they're still occupying space. Oh, I do. Oh, you yeah, do? Yeah. I'm I can't not- see you putting on skinny jeans and going out to go work on the pipes. <laughs> I did. I, I had to fill some holes in the showroom. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get 
um, joint compound on my nice jeans. I'm going to wear old skinny jeans. So I did. Okay. Yeah. And how did you feel self-conscious all day? Uh, I mean, no, cause no. you're a guy, a confident yeah, I mean, man. Yeah. I, I was just like, Hey, and you're in a band. And I was like, you know what? Like, <laughs> I'm here patching your guys' holes. Don't judge me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I like that. So. I like that. Yeah. So Good. Corey's going to keep his, we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to toss them into the manual labor pile. And that's I, always where had, it's going. I always had like pile. I'm like, Oh, those are camp jeans. But I'm like, I'm never going to wear those. No, I don't wear that camping. They're so uncomfortable. Yeah. 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 That, that this moment in time. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The next one was <laughs> wearing right. leggings or athleisure as close. So <laughs> uh, how do you guys feel about this? I, everybody knows how I feel as the dad of a girl. I'm just, those will never be, I don't even care. Those will never be allowed in yeah. my household. They're just too revealing Amen. For, for females. Yeah. So, um, it's not, it's not modest. If Demi wants to wear them, I will start wearing them. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. That's so great. Oh, that's so funny. So good. Sue, how do you feel about wearing leggings and, and athleisure clothes as clothes? I don't, I don't wear them. No, but so I will say toss. on Saturdays, I d but I'm not like wearing leggings and not like slickering them on, you know, like, mm -hmm. but I'll like I wear casual clothes and I'll wear like sporty Nike sweatshirts and stuff like that. Does that count? No. Okay. And I'm in. Yeah. Guys at the gym are just wearing like, I w in the winter when I'm working out, I work out in my garage. So it's like 45 degrees. So I have like, you know, ones that I wear under shorts, but guys in the gym will just like, that's all they're wearing. And I'm like, leggings. Yeah. Like the, the tight, like little spandexy. Are they like shorts Nike or things. pants? They're pants. Shut up. Yeah. And it's the guys. No one wants to weirdest. see it. I know. Yeah. No one wants to Guess see it. Guess what? The gym is mostly guys and everyone mm. else around you doesn't want to see it. That's no for sure. No one wants to see it, especially like moving around. It yeah. will be gross. So Can you be more specific about that? Just like, oh, good times. Uh, <laughs> the next thing is shaker basin case. This is put on by myself because I oh. am just so Toss over it. it. Yeah. Toss it. Tell them what that means though, just in case they don't um, know. That's just like yeah. the no like profile or detail on basin case. Basically just like a flat board. Yeah. Flat board and has small bull nose on either side. And it's just, I, in my opinion, it looks like, Hey, what's the easiest thing we can put as a case around this? You know, like it's yeah. craftsman. Yeah. We'll put, we'll and no, or. I think they do it in the name of being modern. They're like, it's um, my taste is just really modern. Really and so modern. I'm going to do railings that are just like horizontal straight lines made out of black metal. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm going to get, cheap. I'm going to get black metal faucet, <laughs> black metal hardware on my shaker cabinet doors that are white. Yeah. Uh, and it's all matte black. It is the saddest though. When you like do drawings, beautiful drawings, you present to a client and then sometimes like I just have to go down the trim around like the pretty trim that makes a beautiful cabinet door that gets cut sometimes. And then you go to the install and you're like, damn it. <gasps> there you shake your doors now. <laughs> Why don't you say that? <laughs> It's a bad surprise. <laughs> there are good surprises in life and bad no, and bad. Like, it's no never good. color that's going to oh, make that man. not a shaker door. Like everyone sees that, right? So funny. So funny. I'm dead. Uh, no, that's hilarious. That's it. Bull nose countertops. Mm. I'm going to keep them right now. I'm in a mood. Bull like nose it. is really cool right now. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm into Especially it. Especially exaggerated bull nose. Mm. Yeah. Give it to me. The funny thing is you in tell it to a countertop guy. They're like, Bull nose, like what are you talking? Like it's like a sin to them. It's like yeah, but they're like, yeah. you want to know what? Like, Let's do a shaker. It's time again with, the, with yeah. a square edge. It's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's modern. Yes. Uh, the next is granite, like for like for countertops. Yeah, I. When I think of bull nose, I think of bull nosed granite because that was what was really hot at the time. I don't feel like people were doing marble countertops yet. I mean, but granite was like, this is solid granite in the North America. Yeah. All you because before that I felt like people had Formica in their kitchen or Corian. And then all of a sudden granite was like this living finish that was slab. Like that and I feel clout, like right? that with was granite countertops. Yes. And the real estate, Two bedroom the condo real estate agent. with granite countertops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was like one of three bullet points <laughs> to describe the home and what it was. Right. Really Most of the time they use the that. cheap, like speckly ones though. It that yeah. and toss. Meets. Yeah. But yeah. Meets. We did use a really beautiful granite in Tiger Oak in the master mm -hmm. bath. It, so it does not look like a granite. It's not as tourmaline. Oh, tourmaline. Quartzite. 
quartzite, but wasn't there a granite in that house that was great? Yeah, no, there are some good granites. Super white. Yeah. Super, Super white Super white's great. And that's like, that was before marble came onto the scene or like that was the first alternate to quartzite. Yes. Once everyone's just like, oh, marble, that's going to stain like at the very beginning, like mm-hmm. in my career, like 2005, right? Um, they're like, oh, you super white granite. And so I was like the first thing. And that was really pretty. Mm-hmm. Super white granite. And there's some really cool like dark granites with some veining mm-hmm. that I think is pretty. So granite will keep it if it has a cool large vein, not yes. the mystery meat. Amen. Toss that. Toss that shit out. Agreed. Nobody wants it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Sorry, mom. My mom told me, she's just like, did you know, like, she's like, I heard you swear. <laughs> the podcast. I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Mama. I'm oh, going to stop right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop for the rest of the Mom, podcast. <laughs> Provo grandma. Keep going. Giant hoop earrings. <laughs> I, just, I can't with the giant hoop earrings. If they look like you could take the hoop and hook it over your ear, I just feel like too it's big. too big. Okay. Or if you, yeah. could, if you could put your hand through it like a bracelet. Yeah, that's <laughs> too big. I recently saw somebody wearing giant hoop earrings. I was like, no no, for sure. You got the memo about skinny jeans and hoop earrings. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like they're just huge. If they like almost touch your shoulders, mm-hmm. I swear I saw Khloe Kardashian wearing them on a recent episode. Yeah. I I know that they were in some, cause you see them at stores right now. I just, like I saw some I, at the stores. I don't like know. the really, really thin metal. It ones. breaks my brain. Yeah. 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 I feel like Jenny from the block, you know, when I yes. wear them, you know, I was Seriously thinking that exact same thing. <laughs> Sing it for me. <laughs> anyway. Right? I, I don't know. know. I feel confused by it. I feel like we've been over it for so long that it's surprising to me that it's back already. It's the still 90s. A, it's still a thing. Is it a 90s thing? Yeah. 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 I'm very curious. I'm going to start researching this, but for me, I yeah. think the I giant like hoop the 90s, I wore feels them in the 90s. like the 2010s. Like we just did it. We can't do it right now. It hasn't been 30 years, yeah. you know? I feel like the giant, giant ones, like the thin ones like that, I felt like we're... Like they were nineties. Yeah. We'll come back. But Next. still, Jess is gonna toss them. I'm gonna toss them too. I have a small head. Like it just doesn't look right, I guess. I'm gonna come in with one giant <laughs> <laughs> and then skinny jeans and I'm gonna start doing manual labor everywhere. <laughs> I love it. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay. The next is extensions, like hair extensions. That's it. You guys just imagine. Imagine with me for one second. You take your hand. You put it on your head. <laughs> you go with your fingers going through your hair and up. Uh, it's caught. <laughs> I need a refill on my extension. Mm-hmm. Toss it. I <laughs> or agree. Just like at, your, at your scalp. At, or at your scalp. I just, we had a girlfriend that used to have them in the office and like her hair was, and like, if it's a medical <laughs> condition, my sister has, like she gets them and like, they look awesome and she has to have them right for a medical condition. Like her hair just does not grow. Yeah. But if it is by choice, like we just used to see them just like floating. I would see like half of it, like stitched down. I was just like, that's so gross. Like, like <laughs> I can see that. And then you see like hair on their sweater and you're just like, that's not even your hair. <laughs> like it's everywhere. Like I can't, I can't. It's like a Halloween it. costume. I just can't guys. Yeah. I feel the same. Uh, <laughs> you guys, I, uh, I just think that long hair isn't hot right now. I feel like it has been hot. If you're hot, you should have long hair. And if you're I feel gorgeous, like have all long of hair like sure. all of the curls and yeah. that whole thing has been like such a look. But I just feel like right now we're seeing girls lob off their hair and they look so chic. And I really love that. Now I'm a it's person. Haley Bieber. It's that power. Yes, crop. totally. It's so cute. I'm a person though that doesn't grow great hair. I never have. I've never had long hair. So just keep that in mind. If Which I extension though for a second. For a second. Yeah. yeah. Hot second. If I could grow big, beautiful long hair, I would probably have long hair. And I think that if that's your power trait, you should for sure do it. And whenever I see people that do it, I'm like, you have no idea how much people would pay for your hair. It's amazing that you can grow this or naturally curly, you know, all of that's really beautiful. But I do feel like people are spending an exorbitant amount of money to have this long hair Barbie doll look. And I think you could look really chic with it being the power lob that we're seeing. Yeah, Everybody I'm seeing that's cutting off looks like amazing amazing like supermodel amazing hair, like, yeah. yeah so i'm kind of over the extension but i do feel like long beautiful hair that's that's homegrown is still really really beautiful mm-hmm. um totally. yeah and i think i think that works but yeah i'm kind of done with the fake hair toss it unless it's for medical yep yeah so, yep. totally or you feel really really beautiful yeah. uh, you should you do whatever do you. you need to you do i'm tossing to it. feel beautiful yeah, yeah. And I think confidence is the most important thing for oneself. So yeah. Oh, show. Crocs and Birkenstocks. Oh, 
good one. At Birkenstocks, I do not have Crocs. I don't get the Crocs, and I do not get the plugins for do you the Crocs. Want, do you want to hear a story about I'm Crocs? One hundred percent with you on that, and I do like a Birkenstock also. Yeah. So in two thousand six, there's a movie released called Idiocracy. Have you ever seen it with Luke Wilson? Mm-hmm. No. Oh. So the director, when they're filming this movie. Luke Wilson is from like present day so then funny. and he goes like 20 or 50 years or something into the future. And so the director was like, okay, not everyone can just be wearing like vans or, you know, we have to find some stupid. So it's, he goes into the future and everyone's <laughs> dumb, right? So we have to find some shoe where everyone wears it in the future and it makes them look dumb. And so he found these shoes online, these foam shoes, bottom, they're Crocs, and then like this? 10 years later, they actually got popular and everybody's <laughs> wearing them. So he's just like now, like he was in this interview and he's just like, I feel like I manifested Prophecy. this thing to happen. Yeah. yeah. And oh my gosh. So that's Crocs. That's but I feel like true. Crocs were a thing not that long ago. And now all of a sudden they're having these massive resurgence. Yeah. Like when we saw Crocs the first time, you're like, this shouldn't, this shouldn't ever happen I again. I feel like it was a medical oh. thing, right? Yeah, it, was it was like a gardening thing. Oh, like Maybe you were a gardening garden, thing. Like I feel like, I know I do feel like then... nurses wore them and right. Yeah. Anyway, we, it's not like Crocs are brand new right now. It's just, they're brand new to 10 year old boys and, oh, and they're putting right? in all the plugins and like, it's really fun to like collect it like a Pokemon and I just don't get it. They always see ill fitting also. Like no, they I'm, look like they're wearing the wrong sizes. Like, when you can like hear them kind of walk. Like, and just goes <laughs> I wish you guys could see Sue at all <laughs> wiggling on through here. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm with you. Come to Dear Alice Live. You I'm a- <laughs> I would keep Birkenstocks. Toss Crocs. Keep, yeah, yeah sure. agreed. Keep agreed. I, um, I put one extra one on here just to see how you guys feel. Yeah. Boucle. Oh yeah, I'm done with Boucle. I get it for some people. And I think it's a really beautiful modern treatment. And if it's an original piece, I think it's very cool. I just think that we've seen it for so long. And we've seen the cheap Boucle. Yeah. Especially. Right. And there's a spectrum of Boucles. There's, and mm-hmm. like, keep, there's, keep the real one that's dense. Yeah. For sure. Cause textually, I think that's interesting, but I think like the Sherpa and the, I'm over it. And yeah. the cheap Boucle that's like, it looks like, it looks like a balding head with like a little bit. Yes. Yeah. You know, I don't want yes. that. I'm, I'm tossing that one. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. I no, have one more. We oh, have okay. one more. <laughs> Great. French tip nails specifically on your toes. <laughs> oh, we can talk about hands and toes. Guys, awesome. This has been something for me that I cannot get over. It looks like to me, like monkeys, how they're, they use their hands and their feet. When somebody has French tips on their feet, I come unstuck. <laughs> I look like they have hands for feet. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and especially if they have the sandals for very and long. And then you're like, ah, oh, like, oh like, my gosh, is that, oh, I thought your hands were on your feet for a minute and I just can't get over it. And and if you're ever sitting in a pedicure place and they want to do a French tip on their feet, you know what? I just am like, somebody needs to tell them. They paid $10 extra for that French tip too. Oh my you gosh. Extra so because it. of it, because it freaks me out so bad, I can't even do it on my hands because I feel like there's been too many people that have done it everywhere. And I, it's my job now to never do it did you do it on your wedding day no i didn't i didn't i for sure did on your feet too ew no oh, okay no. no my feet are have not you ever done it on your feet no absolutely not no my feet are like anyway i didn't like if you have even if cute feet nobody wants to like stare that long to see every line repeated on your toes mm. oh and they yeah. just look like hands like fat hands down there <laughs> do you know oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i just don't love it i don't know i mean i've seen french tips with like different colors and people have great hands and they're like thin they can pull cute, it actually, off fashionably totally. there's yeah there's some really cute so fun I'm trends going like on square tip fat fat french <laughs> <laughs> yeah totally the og french uh, on the feet yeah the, yeah like 2002 french i'm gonna toss it on that yeah, girl toss it yeah thank you that was really fun guys <laughs> yeah um if someone has any of these maybe they should send them in to dear do. alice at oh, alice be, so, so fun, fun. Yeah. say that email one more time dear alice at alice one more time dear alice at alice lane home.com Questions, send us your questions, toss. send us your keeper toss, any episode ideas. We love to hear it all. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. And we will catch you next time. Hey, thanks for listening. If you like our show, please leave a five-star rating. 